Bakugo and Uraraka. Zadon Danny, Electro Ninja here, and welcome back to Electro Ninja's Lab. Yes, we are talking about these two characters, and there is a specific reason that I wanted to talk about these two. For those of you who aren't fully aware of what's going on in the manga, well, you should probably back out of this video because this is going to have a lot of spoilers. Okay, everyone gone that doesn't want to hear this stuff? Good. <laughs> so, for those of you who are not completely aware, currently in the manga, there is a villain arc going on. And it the main villain, I guess, yeah, he is actually a villain. He's probably worse than actual villains. Um, is the creator and the company owner of the company that made both Uraraka and Bakuko's outfits. Uh, no joke, <laughs> they actually are. So, what am I getting at? Well, the thing is that that means that Bakugo and Uraraka are gonna need some new outfits. Um, currently, they are the, as far as I'm aware, um, the two of them are the only two people who uh, have outfits made by that specific company. Um, if you actually look at the other outfits by almost everyone, each one is actually pretty different. The only two, and none of them really have a mark that really says, oh, yeah, this was definitely made by a specific company. But both Bakugo and Uraraka's have those two little dots. Uraraka in the middle of her chest, and Bakugo on the strap right here. Um, and those two dots represent the company, which means that the two of them are going to need to get new outfits. <laughs> now, Yairozu and Ida are actually a little bit special because they actually, uh, get their outfits made by their families, uh, companies. Um, Momo can pay literally anyone to make her outfit and Ida his outfit is basically the same outfit as literally his entire family they all have that night outfit it's the Ida brand um so there's nothing to really think about there um but considering the fact that literally everyone else's outfits are made by different people with the only two that are as far as I'm aware that are actually made by, uh, that aren't made by a company, um, being, well, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, it's only Jiro. Only Jiro doesn't have an outfit that was made by a company, <laughs> um, as far as I'm aware. Uh, maybe, like, her headphones were and stuff like that, but she specifically asked for her outfit to be um, kind of normal clothes, and... Uh, Deku did have an outfit that was originally made by his mother. They did eventually get a company to make it, um, but he wanted his the design that his mother made to be his outfit. So it's kind of stuck with him. There have been a few minor changes, but that's it. But now with both Bakugo and Uraraka, now that they are about to lose those outfits because... Spoiler alert, the guy who made them is evil, meaning that the company is going to shut down, means that they need new outfits. So what exactly are these outfits going to look like? Well, I would actually assume that, at least for Bakugo, the outfit is going to stay nearly identical, with um, a few minor tweaks, obviously. Uh, I still think that it's going to be the black thing with a baggy pants and those different green compartments um, is basically just going to lose the dots um, maybe the color of certain things will change maybe he won't have that thing around his neck i don't know the exact details don't really matter too much um but he's going to be primarily the same but as for raka her outfit 
may change completely. Now, obviously, certain things are going to actually stay the same, such as her helmet. Her helmet was specifically designed to actually help her with her motion sickness. And while she doesn't necessarily get the motion sickness as much anymore, she still does get it a little bit. So, her helmet may become uh, slightly different, but still similar. Um, but as for her outfit itself... It's going to change drastically. Uh, she has never, she's always said that she doesn't really like the outfit. Um, it doesn't really fit with the way that she wants it to. However, there are certain features that she probably will keep, uh, such as the boots. I believe that they actually serve a purpose. I don't remember the exact purpose, but they most likely will stay the same. And the same goes for her gauntlets. I believe that they also have. A similar purpose to basically help her not get motion sick those two aspects are going to probably stay at least relatively similar however the rest of her outfit honestly i would not be surprised if it is completely different um maybe she'll even show some skin i don't <laughs> just knowing the fact that there's some uh, that this is kohi kind of makes me think that there's gonna be some skin showing um but honestly, I would not be surprised if it looks completely different. Um, I actually believe that Momo may actually offer, at least Uraraka, um, the chance to actually use her family's uh, company to basically make her her new outfit. Um, and Momo will basically pay for it, at least for now. And then when she actually is getting money she can actually uh find a new company to actually make it for herself and it's basically a temporary thing um i would act and bakugo basically just chooses the uh, basically just gets whatever one is easiest um i actually wouldn't be surprised if he actually gets it gets paid by the same company that makes dekus uh but like I said, these outfits need to change. And I don't think that any of the other classmates actually have the same company as the two of them. Um, because you don't notice the dots on literally anyone. Uh, but if anyone else does, they also need to get their outfits changed. There is a lot of characters that recently got their outfits changed in the actual manga. Uh specifically because of the fact that it is currently winter uh, winter in the manga and also i believe in the actual anime it's going into winter i could be wrong but i'm pretty sure that's the case um so yeah uh all those things are gonna be happening pretty soon so just some thoughts to think about and yeah but i'm curious to know what you guys think down, uh, down in the comments below. Do you think that their outfits are going to change as drastically as I think? Or do you think they're going to keep them basically the same, just made by a different company? Um, like I said, Bakugo kind of likes his outfit. Uh, Uraraka is a bit more different. So really the only reason that I can think of for Bakugo to change his outfit drastically is um if he realizes holy shnikey it was made by a villain group yeah no i'm changing it completely now because i don't want that <laughs> um but yeah like i said let me know down in the comments below uh i'm also curious to know what they're gonna do for one's justice 5 or one's justice 4 because like i said one's justice 3 not gonna be implementing that but one's justice three may very well be implementing the new outfits so i i'm curious to know if they're gonna keep these original outfits because like i said it's a weird situation going on in the manga um but definitely let me know down in the comments below uh if you enjoyed this video please leave a like uh leave your own theories down in the comments below make sure to use the hashtag theory review so i can talk about them more in my fan theory review video and of course um if you are new please subscribe and ring that notification bell but anyways guys i've been electro ninja and i'll see you guys next time but on